Recent Star Citizen updates have explored the exciting spectrum between the most engaging new leap forward in years and barely even getting past the login screen. Regardless of whether or not you've been able to experience it, the addition of persistent entity streaming has fundamentally changed Star Citizen, even if it's just because everyone's now neck deep in garbage. But with this move forward, new types of content are finally rising to the surface, and our first foray into that flotatious future is Star Citizen Alpha 319. Now that CIG has spent nearly a decade convincing new players to join their game, they finally decided to teach these fresh faces how to play it. It's time for the return of the tutorial. Rather than the long-lost, heavily scripted and voiced adventure that had everyone believing that Squadron 42 was right around the corner, we now have a handful of floating quest markers to teach new players how to explore exciting gameplay. Like eating and drinking! This guided tour of mission objectives will take you through Area 18, showing you how to get stuck in elevators, buy gear from a store, ride public transportation, and obtain a ship that you don't get to keep. It'll even guide you on a dizzying adventure into space, zigzagging through waypoints where it will abruptly end having taught you absolutely everything you need to know. On this introductory masterclass journey into the sky, you may have noticed some new obstructions between the infinite horizon of buildings and your vacuous destination. That's right, the last planet of our still solitary system has been encrusted in beautiful white fluffy plumes of water vapor, giving this lifeless sea of metal in buildings that tiny shred of nature it needed to feel like a real world and not something out of Transformers. But as one planet becomes more natural, another becomes a little more artificial as we take a quantum journey across the system to Hurston and check out the expanded and emboldened city of Lorville. What was once an awkward postage stamp of buildings sitting in this trash desert is now a whole envelope of industrial might stretching as far as I can see when I'm looking from this particular perspective. The buildings have grown and the skyline has transformed into a new highly detailed yet distinctly Lorville style design giving you all of the majesty you can appreciate before falling unconscious in the polluted air. When you've had your fill of one more city with nothing in it to do, you can rocket your way through those brown clouds on your way to the all-new Salvage Contract missions. Here you can pay a fee to get some secret inside information on the exclusive location of a busted-ass ship that you can shave the skin off for maximum profit. Don't worry that you're an asteroid throw away from this outpost where anyone could easily add your ship to that lucrative salvage contract. You've got some haul to scrape. But you're not just here to buffalo bill ships with your beam powers anymore, because now you can leap out into the vacuum of space and pluck all of those sweet juicy weapons off the side. Not to mention opening up the cargo bay to see what tasty treats those probably dead patrons left behind for you. Then you can tractor beam random deadly weapons, bulky turrets, and highly explosive missiles into the back of your ship to safely rattle around on the floor until you can get them back to the gun store for a quick buck. Or you can unlock your ship's slots and slap those babies right onto your hardpoints for an on-the-fly upgrade. These aren't the only new salvage missions, though. You can also head to the Personal tab to get the risky version of the salvage contract that costs more and includes the exciting addition of a timer indicating when the cops will come to bust your ass for stealing someone's broken space junk. But if you want a mission to make some real money from nothing, you're going to have to do more work than just about any other task in the game. Ghost Hollow has a new mission, this time to turn that busted reclaimer full of wandering NPCs into a player-killing free-for-all to make a small amount of money. First, you have to gather up your crypto keys and head over to this comma ray to stare at this screen for a while to shut it down. Then you can quantum right to the new Ghost Hollow beacon to swoop in and clear the area of this hopefully not invisible threat of NPCs. Then you can climb a tower and turn on the credit extractors, which of course sends a mission out to everyone on the server to come kick your ass and take your money. But that's only the start. Now you get to sneak inside this garbage base and find a terminal where you'll be able to slowly watch money collect into a digital pool, like Bitcoin, but in reverse. Once it reaches 5,000 UEC, you can snatch it up and run, but I let it go for a cool 30k so the server wouldn't claim my money. Then all you have to do is wait even longer for the cash to transfer, fight your way through any respawned enemies, avoid these aggressive cutlasses, and haul ass out of there with almost enough money to justify the hours it took to get it. However, if you have some time to waste, you can always head back to where we started in Area 18 to check out the UEE self-congratulatory week of celebration, Invictus. After you take your requisite tour of that classic military posturing, head down to explore the expo where you can purchase some government-branded merch. But the real fun is down in the convention center where you can check out all of your favorite ships on display and even some brand new ones like this RSI Lynx. 
If you were desperate for just one more ground vehicle to occasionally look at while you wait for it to have a purpose, now's your chance to bolster your collection. It has all the incredible usefulness of that Ursa rover that you haven't spawned in the last 18 months but with just the right amount of opulence to make your Constellation Phoenix seem like a worthwhile purchase. But if you're looking for a slightly more useful addition to haul around in your ship, you might want to check out the Misk Mirai Fury. After years of ridicule, Misk has finally decided to move away from dildo-shaped designs but didn't want to lose their dedicated dildo following. So they've spun off an entirely distinct brand called Mirai for this all-new flying turret snub fighter. Climb into one of these glorified tin cans, once again taking advantage of that Xi'an technology to bring a pile of guns to life and let people zip around in the vacuum of space with nothing but a thin piece of glass between them and certain death. Or you can jump in the MX version that is 75% missiles by volume, but thankfully comes with the added safety of a blast shield. So when your entire ship is disintegrated by dozens of explosions, the face of your corpse will still be beautiful. If all of this wasn't exciting enough for you, there have also been some changes to make the thrilling world of mining somehow even more enthralling. If you've had to endure the pain of bending over and picking up every single shiny gem from your hand mining endeavors, now you can pop a rock and use this magical blinding tractor beam to suck those lovely minerals straight into your face and somehow right into your backpack. Star Citizen Alpha 319 You thought it didn't have content, but it turns out it has some. If you'd like to see more information about previous updates in an almost informative way, check out my other Star Citizen videos here.